Hello, my name is Andrew Mercer, and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to properly set up and hold your violin bow. Now as you can see, I'm actually here in front of a mirror. Uh, a mirror can be a really good tool for when you're practicing. You, uh, it's going to let you see how you look from you know, from another angle. It's really difficult to, to kind of assess everything as you're holding your violin in your hands if you can't actually see from another angle. So a mirror is a really good helpful tool. So I'm going to be I'm going to do this today in front of a mirror. Now the first thing, uh, just let me show you, I'm going to be showing you how to properly hold your violin bow so that you can get the, the, the best sound, the least amount, of, least amount of squeaks, the most amount of volume out of your violin as possible. So I'm going to briefly be going over how to actually set up your bow hold to, uh, to make it work best for you. Now the very first thing I'm going to talk about is, is a bunny. Is a bunny. We want to, we want to make a bunny hand, uh, a little bunny face <laughs> head with our hands. Uh, and you can do that obviously if you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, thumb behind and your thumb is going to contact your fingers at, or the bunny teeth at basically around this knuckle right here, your first knuckle. And it's going to be um, roughly between the two fingers. That's roughly about where it wants to be. Not too far to the towards the index finger and not too far towards the uh, your pinky or your fourth finger. So it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So you want to be able to make these bunny ears and that's what's going to help us set up our bow in the first place. But before we actually get to the bow we're going to use a pencil. Now this is a good little little tool to get you started with and if you have any time if you're if you're a student and you're at school or if you're at work and and you want to just uh, spend a bit of time working on your bow hold, it's a good idea to pick up a pencil or a pen and try it out. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our little bunny and we're going to put the, the bow or the pencil into the bunny's teeth. Okay, so in here like this. So I think you might be able to see that from the angle. I hope you can. So our thumb is going to go on the bottom here, on the, on the bottom of our pencil, and our bunny teeth are going to wrap around. Just like we did before, we said that the, the, uh, the thumb would contact around the back of the first knuckle on your on your bunny teeth. Well, that's what's going to happen here. Our thumb's going to come around and, and on, on the back of that knuckle. So it's going to look like that. So we still have our little bunny head. And then uh, before we let our ears do their work, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the thumb. Now the thumb, you contacts the pencil or the bow stick uh, uh, on the tip of the thumb, kind of off angle a little bit, more about right here on your thumb. Okay, so not in the dead center. It's on a bit of an angle. You can see this kind of thing. It's on a bit of an angle. And it's at the tip of your thumb. Not You don't stick your nail into the stick. You It's it's just short of your nail. So it's like that. And I'm pretty little closer to the camera. But it's, it's like that. So it's the tip of your thumb. The tip of your thumb. And it's, again, it's behind that, sec, that first knuckle. Okay, and that's what we want to do. Now, th this is something I'm going to mention now. It's going to be it's very, very important, and probably the most important thing I'm going to tell you today. Got to keep the thumb bent. You always need to keep your thumb bent. It needs to be very flexible. You don't want to lock it like that. That's, that's what we don't want. We want it to always, always be bent. And I'll be mentioning that over and over and over. You need to really keep it bent so it's pliable, it's flexible. So now we have our bunny teeth down over. These are our huggers. We're going to call these our huggers. But they're, for now, they're our bunny teeth. Now, let's do our, uh, our index finger here. When our index finger contacts the bow stick, it contacts it around the second knuckle. Now, I say around the second knuckle because everybody's fingers are a little bit different shape and length, but it's going to be somewhere around there. It's not going to be around the first knuckle. That's a little too far down. And it's certainly not going to be up near the third knuckle. That's a little too far up. So it's around the second knuckle. And it is going to move as well. And we'll talk about that a little later. But it will, it will move a little bit as we go from the tip of the bow to the frog of the bow. So now we have our index finger around that second knuckle, somewhere around there sitting on it. And we have our bunny teeth, our, uh, our huggers. We have our bent thumb, as you can see, still bent on the back, touching on around the tip of the thumb. And now our pinky, our fourth finger. Now our fourth finger should sit on the top. It should sit on the top of the stick like that. It should be nice and round and relaxed should sit on the top. So there you go. Now I'll just make a little note. If you can notice right here, there's a little bit of space between my, my uh, fourth finger, my pinky, and my ring finger, this one here. And there's also a little bit of space between my, my index finger 
and my um, second finger, this one here, my, my middle finger, is a little bit of space between. It doesn't have to be pronounced like this or anything like that. It should be just a little tiny space. These two fingers, if they want to touch, they can. That's no problem. Again, everybody's hands are a little different shape. So let's just have a look at it again just to review. Bent thumb, absolutely very, very important. Bent thumb, thumb contacts the stick at a right, just, be, just behind the nail. So your nail isn't touching the stick, but it's just behind it. And it's a little bit off center. It's not directly in the center of the thumb. It's kind of, the thumb is tilted. Your, your, in, your pinky, first of all, I'll go there first. Your pinky is nice and rounded and it sits on the tip. Should always be in contact with your bow. If it doesn't, you'll find your bow is get it'll get out of shape. It'll get you know all strange. You keep your thumb, keep your pinky in contact all the time. Our index finger is a rounded finger, just like the other fingers. Everything is rounded, and it contacts the stick around that second knuckle. And our huggers or our bunny teeth, our huggers just lie down over the stick, nice and relaxed, and they contact the stick somewhere around the uh, just beyond the first knuckle. You know, just beyond. And again, people's fingers are all going to be different shapes and sizes, so whatever is comfortable for you, but in that ballpark. So it nice, needs to be a nice, relaxed hand, nice and relaxed. These muscles here, especially right here, this muscle, which I'm not sure what the name of it is, but this muscle right here needs to be nice and pliable. It should be very marshmallowy. And this muscle right here as well should be very relaxed. If you find you're getting cramps in here or cramps down through here, it's probably because you're, you're too tense. You need to relax a little. So nice and relaxed. Okay, now let's take the pencil away and let's just try with the bow. Okay, so here we go. Let's shake our hand out, just make sure it's nice and relaxed. Now let's just try, first of all, um, on the bow stick, um, I'm going to start with my thumb. Now where should our thumb sit on the bow stick? Now that's, that's always a question. It, it, it should never sit in this notch right here on the bow. I'll move it a little closer. It should never sit in there. Okay, that's not where it wants to be. Where we want to be is, is right here. So it's, it's sort of on this leather lapping, and it's on the stick a little. So it's going to be right here, like that. Okay, it should be in there. And again, it's the tip of your thumb, the tip of your thumb, not the nail. And you certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want it sticking through like that. I mean, we do, certainly don't want that either. So it's going to be the tip of your thumb, and uh, it's going to be a little bit off angle, a little bit off center, so it's not in the center. And then let's try our huggers. Let's try our bunny teeth. And they wrap down around the stick as well, just like we did with our pencil. They wrap down around, nice and relaxed. And notice my thumb is still bent. Very, very, very important. And if you want to, for now, you can touch the hair off your thumb. You can probably see that there. My hair, the hair on my bow is I'm rotating a bit. It's touching my thumb, and that's okay for now. And then our first finger, our, our pointer, our index finger, is going to just lie down on the stick, wrap around the stick, and don't hook. And don't point it out. It should be just nice and relaxed. And it should be on around the, the second knuckle. And the last piece is our pinky, our fourth finger. It should sit on top of the bow. Just sit there like that. And you'll notice we have a little bit of space right here between our, our uh, ring finger and our pinky. A little bit of space between our index finger and our second finger, our middle finger. And it doesn't have to be a lot of space. But you see a nice relaxed bow hand. It's a little tilted, and that's we need that. It's a little tilted, and this is going to be very f flexible and pliable because as we go through our bows up and down between the frog and the heel and the the, the sorry the tip, we're going to be uh, moving our hands around. So it needs to be very pliable, and you may find that sometimes your pinky might be rather straight if you're near the tip, and when you're at the frog, it may be quite bent like this. Same with your index finger. There are times when your index finger may be quite straightened out, and sometimes when it might be quite bent. So it's, it needs to be flexible. Remember, last thing, remember that this bow, that the, the thumb should be very, very uh, curved and relaxed. Now, another thing too I should mention, a little tip. Um, I'm holding with my left hand, and you'll see sometimes I'm resting on my shoulder. Um, when you're setting your bow hand, your bow up, you don't want to be holding the weight of the bow with your hand. It's, it's too heavy, and, you, and you, won't, you won't be doing that when you're playing your violin anyway. So when you get it all set up, with, hold it with your hand if you can. Uh, your left hand while you're setting up, and remember, don't touch your, the bow here either, because it makes it gets oil from your fingers on the here. So try to touch only the stick. When you get it all set up, you can you can go straight up and down, and you can have a look at it now in the mirror. You can see there's all you can see all around, see the shape of it. Make sure you have nice curved fingers. 
Look where your, your, your index finger is resting on it so it's nice and relaxed. Check your muscles. Check your muscles here. Make sure they're relaxed up on top. Make sure this muscle underneath is nice and relaxed. For your marshmallowy hands, you want that. And it should be nice and relaxed, nice and loose. Nice and loose. Almost like you're holding a, you know, a, if you had like a bottle of, uh, like a, a bottle of pop or a glass of water, it should be like that, holding it firmly, but, but not tight. You don't want to go, you don't want to be very tight. It needs to be, needs to be, needs to be really relaxed. So that's, that's it. That's for your bow hold. Now, we'll have one last review. Um, we'll, we'll go from the thumb first. So our thumb, very, very important that it's curved and always stays curved. And you can touch the hair right here on the, on the your edge of your thumb if you want. Uh, that's okay to start out. Your thumb is actually contacting the, the bow right here, just in front of the frog, not stuck in that notch. Be careful of that. I've seen that sometimes and you don't want that. It's going to be, I, I have mine half on the lapping and half on the wood. Your hugger finger should hug down over so that your thumb is basically around the area where your, uh, your first knuckle is of the two huggers, your two bunny teeth. Your, your thumb is not going to be touching it, but it should be in that general vicinity of the first knuckle. Pinky sits on top, nice and rounded, and it sits in ballerina, tippy toe. On the very top of the stick right here and it stays there keep nice and relaxed hand down through here too and last but not least your index finger should be contacting the stick on the lapping at around the second knuckle and again that'll move it'll move as you bow it will change around a little bit but your finger should be nice and relaxed nice relaxed wrist so that's it so if you have any comments or questions please put them in the in the discussion uh, sorry in the link uh, the links below the comment comment area and uh, if you have any questions about anything, feel free. If you want to send me a video of your bow hands, maybe I can give you some ideas. Um, so good luck with it. And, uh, and if you have any comments, put them in the, in the section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you, and see you next time.